What's up, Blue Chips? Just one trade today on CHMI. Well, let's get to it. All right, traders, just the down and dirty real quick today. Uh, really wasn't much going on for us this morning. Didn't really miss much because there really wasn't too much for us personally. There was a lot moving. Uh, the SPY actually was making some pretty good moves this morning. As you can see, this thing decided to try to get up towards 285. I had mentioned in the pre-market that we were going to have some pretty good resistance in that 285, 290 area. So it looks like we are starting to run into that just a little bit here, at least for today. So back to our trade here on CHMI. We waited pretty much all morning for this thing. As you can see, we didn't actually get into this trade until 1024. And it just kind of happened. Uh, v from ISW kind of posted it in the ISW live channel. I looked up the float real quick because I was wondering why it didn't come up on my scanners. That was why as a 15 mil float. But in the live stream this morning, I also talked about how the float is not something that I'm particularly worried about right now with my single entry, single exit type uh, methods that I am using. I have the set risk. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. And the float really doesn't matter. Uh, if you are scaling into trades, uh, like the 112 system that I, I have used and plan to use in the future, uh, using the, using that strategy for lower floats can be a little bit more risky uh, because low floats can obviously make some pretty crazy runs, just like works yesterday, ICD yesterday. And I believe there's one kind of making a move like that. SONN uh, is the one that's making that move today, or at least it, it attempted to. <laughs> so as you guys can see, uh, this made a move up through 850, kind of got rejected. I pulled it up as it had already come back under 850. Yeah. I realized that it did not want to go back through. As you can see, it got back up to 849. We hit it on the way down at 839, and it pretty much was kind of immediate resolution. It came down to this 825 area, and it just kind of stalled. As you can see, it literally gapped down to the next fill on the next two-minute candle. Uh, there was just no prints going on. There was a pretty decent spread there it was like a seven cent spread and then finally we ended up getting our fill and it's kind of continued down since then so we'll take our plus one our trade today on chmi and that's all i have for you so don't forget to like and subscribe i always appreciate that support if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave those down below if you want to go back and watch the live trade i will put the link right there and i will see you guys tomorrow morning peace